Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And uh, it's a nice sunny day today, and I'm up in a condo. And this is a customer that I've cleaned for, this will be the third time in here. Uh, this condo is actually a uh, short-term rental property, so there's lots of people coming and going, and uh, sometimes they can be very hard on the carpet and uh, everything in here. And uh, But this will be the third time cleaning, and I cleaned everything here. I cleaned the, the, the two uh, love seats with loose cushions, and uh, I cleaned the fabric headboard and the mattress. And of course, I'm doing this bedroom, this dining room area, the living room area, and the entryway over here. You can see the carpet, the carpet is about 10 or 12 years old, um, I, I I think. It's got to be at least there, there anyway, I'm quite sure about that. Um, and it is pretty worn in the traffic areas, but not to be unexpected. And um, I did this mattress and this headboard. And this mattress and this headboard, and of course I'll be doing this room here, and the master bedroom and we've got a walk-in closet so other than um it, it is certainly you can see the hallway is uh fairly soiled there it's not that bad really but um it's quite uh worn the traffic lanes and the very first time i remember the first time that i cleaned this carpet which was three years ago i guess um uh, there were a lot of really bad stains on it, but they all came up and it's been uh, standing up pretty well. The last time I was here, again, um, I think there was a, quite a series of stains over here which all came out. So this is a nylon. Not a great quality nylon, I don't think. More of a builder grade, but it isn't a staple yarn anyway. So that's in its favor. <laughs> so I'm just, I, I did, when I pre-vacuumed, I did use the Omega Citrus and pre-treated all the obvious spots. There is a, a colored spot over there, which I put some proxy on. And um, as you saw, I just did a little bit of a pre-spray with the uh, trigger sprayer. Engage the clutch there. I just wanted to make sure I I got around the corner here. There was a series. There's a series of spots right in here. They actually look like they've already faded away a little bit. I pre-treated all of those. So nothing much going on around the table, fortunately. And I'm cleaning with Nanomax, two ounces per gallon. And I have. Uh, CLO2 in the tank as normal, 500 parts per million. And uh, there is a, a hot chair fiber pad on the machine right now, and it's a pretty worn in one. So I'll be going over all the high traffic areas with the hot chair. And as I'm cleaning, I am always scanning for any stains that don't come out immediately, because they normally come out immediately, but occasionally they don't. And sometimes they just need a little bit of something else. underneath this uh, counter here um, I think the last time I was here there was a quite a series of bad stains here something maybe got spilled off the counter I guess
actually my customer said the um, the last folks were in here they had a couple of young kids and they were here for I think she said three months and uh, she said they just made, left the place a real mess which is what happens sometimes you, you just never know with people she said they look like uh, you know nice clean organized folks that you would never think would be so messy but that's the way it is you just never know I'm gonna get the slack behind me here we get into the uh, living room area Obviously, this is a rather light carpet, so it uh, doesn't hide much. <laughs> and right along here is where the couch was sitting. I've got it pulled back a little bit. I did the uh, couch, couches first. They're almost dry, just slightly damp. I used the uh, Von Schroeder dry foam extraction system, which is what I usually use. I do have a, a PB3 uh, um, hot water extractor with a dripless tool which I will use sometimes and it works very well has a variable heat up to 200 degrees and it does put out heat I tell you <laughs> I can barely hang on to the tool sometimes it gets so hot it's a PMF dripless tool now there was a colored stain there which I put the proxy on and now I actually can't see it. It was there a second ago and now it looks like just going over and with the fiber pad just took it right out. So that's nice. So let's head this away. Push that forward a little bit. under where the furniture is uh, sitting is uh, I won't be able to put the fiber pad there so when I switch to the Iron Man then I'll be moving that of course series of spots right across here it looks like they're coming out oh well, maybe not <clears throat> hmm We'll let that sit for a second. Come back to that. I think they're lightening up. 
But again, I'm going to let it sit for a second or two. I'm going to go in here. a mark here which is now gone and of course I'm cleaning uh, with Banana Max which is a neutral pH cleaning product with a health rating of zero and is made with 97% food grade plant based ingredients and also has a plant based protector as part of its formulation, so it leaves a anti-resoiling protector in the carpet or fabric if that's what you're cleaning with or did with. And it's odorless. It has a very faint odor, but you can barely smell it. And of course the uh, CLO2 in the mix is killing all germs, bacteria, and viruses on contact. It doesn't mean it actually disinfects the carpet, but it does reduce the bacteria load significantly because that's uh, it is actually a, um, a um, soft surface sanitizer. So uh, that's one of the reasons I use it. It is also very effective at neutralizing allergens. I think I got those spots. And it's also uh, very effective at removing most malodors. And depending on the level um, or the amount that you put in to your mix, um, of course, the more stronger you make it, the more effective it will be on odors. But there's a limit that you don't want to exceed. I would never go over 3,000 parts per million because uh, this is a product you definitely need to understand how to use because it can take color out so I never go above 3000 on synthetic uh, carpet never go over 2000 on wool and I've been using it now for, uh, for three years I guess maybe Two years or th three years, I think. So anyway, this traffic lane uh, uh, definitely needs a good clean. It's coming up nicely, though. It looks like it's really improving without much effort. But of course, this machine is doing three 360 degree cleaning passes per second on the carpet. So there's an awful lot of uh, action going on on the carpet fiber. It is scrubbing and it is not causing distortion to the carpet pile. It will lift the pile very effectively though. Particularly with the uh, with the fiber pad that I have on there now. It's very effective at lifting carpet pile. Even the Iron Man pad or even a two-way pad is actually very effective. Um, and pulling up the, the pile, restoring it. These machines do not flatten and you know push down the pile of the carpet. I mean that's that's a consistent, erroneous statement that um, some carpet cleaners will keep repeating, but it is completely untrue. mark there. I have to deal with that one by hand, I think. 
and there was a stain right by the corner of the bed there and it looks like it's come out one thing to remember about a rotary machine like uh, one of the things that people will say about a rotary is that it twists it's twisting the arm but um, the fact of the matter is that in the center of the drive pad, drive block or the pad driver, there is a hole, usually at least six inches in diameter. That's the way they're made. So the center of the pad has no pressure on, on the carpet. They're just riding on the carpet without pressing into the carpet. So the twisting motion that it's theoretically doing isn't occurring because it's not actually pressing down on the carpet. It's making a sweeping circular motion. The outer is about a band of pressure on the carpet about this, about that wide probably. Yeah, about that wide. Going around the machine on the bottom, the center of the machine the center of the pad is there's there's not, no pressure on it so you've got the pad or the fiber pad or ironman pad is doing a passing over the carpet in a sweeping motion and it's on this machine turning from my perspective counterclockwise so the left side of the machine is traveling toward me the part at the back of the or the closest to me is moving that way on the right side it's moving that way and on the front moving that way and in the center nothing's touching the carpet or um, there's no pressure on the center of the pad driver on the carpet and I'll show you that when I uh, when I go to switch over here in a sec if I remember <laughs> hang on a second I managed to get my cord under the door there So this is a, a very decent sized job. I'll be out of here by uh, probably close to one o'clock and I started cleaning at about 9.30. Um, and it's over a $1,200 job. Um, and uh, this is not an unusual size of job for us to do. And I do have two more jobs to do today, two smaller ones. lady that uh, we've been doing the work for, for the la this job for the last three years um, had been getting the carpet cleaned by somebody else and was basically unhappy with the results. It just didn't clean very well. It didn't stay clean. They didn't get the stains out very effectively. So that was why she went looking for something better. And... Um, very happy with the results and uh, she's very happy with the knowing that she's getting real value for what she's getting done and what she's paying the other guy was cheaper and she wasn't happy with what he did but I include sanitizing deodorizing anti-allergen treatment and a protector carpets dry within an hour so does the furniture normally and it stays clean up to three times longer than any other process. So the customer wins and I win. Okay, this is actually looking really good. There was one stain here that was still visible before. 
and I gotta find it now. And I don't see it anymore. It was right about here. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Okay, so let's uh, stop and we'll take a look at what I'm talking about on the uh, pad driver here. This is a pretty standard pad driver and, and with this fiber pad, actually the center piece just pops out too. So the center doesn't even touch the carpet at all <laughs> when, you, when you take the center out of the fiber pad. You don't have to, but um, this is my you're wondering this is my deflector because I have a center feed so uh, the, the entire center of the machine that's on the carpet that's almost six inches that there's no pressure that touches the carpet so the only part that where the pressure is is where my fingers are passing or holding over there and that's what that's about four inches maybe a little bit more um, so the center is not even contacting the carpet when I'm using the fiber pad. So there's, it's not possible for it to be doing a twisting motion on the carpet. It's passing over the carpet. And um, get this rid of this. And like I said, in a kind of a sweeping motion. So when I put the uh, pad driver on the entire center here there's no there's no pressure there's nothing see there's there's just there's no weight there there's no pressure it uh, and if you forever for whatever reason if you thought that you were gonna have a concern you can put a, a glider which is a little larger than the uh, deflector I have you put a plastic disc underneath in the center if you wanted to to eliminate any possibility of twisting the, the yarn. Although it doesn't do that anyway, but, and I've been using these rotary machines on residential carpeting now for 27 years. I mean, I've done it before that, but for 27 years we've been operating OxyDry and uh, never a problem. It just doesn't happen. And there's a, a, a that's a that mark there on the carpet is actually there's a just a piece of carpet missing there it looks like <laughs> remember that being there last time I gotta get rid of the slack get it behind me okay. Carpet is cleaning up really nicely. Just taking my time. Let this one and a half horsepower motor do its thing. Machine weighs about 90 pounds or so, right around there. I'm not exactly sure how much it weighs I'm sure it's not over 100 pounds though and the actual weight per square inch puts it down to uh, probably around seven or five five to seven pounds per square inch because you distribute that weight over the area that's actually on contact with the pad on the pad driver And you can easily apply five to seven pounds per square inch by hand just by taking a, a spotting towel and rubbing a carpet. You can easily exceed that, actually, of course. And I'm gonna stop the video now because um, <laughs> I think if I get too long, it won't upload. So I'll let you go now and um, and I will finish off the job here and then I go on to my next jobs a couple of jobs so anyway thank you for watching and uh, have a good day